Hey, what's up guys? Jake Rudy Almighty here. Today I'm back in Florida. We just got done at Jenny Springs and now we're off to a brand new springs I've never been before. If you guys are new to the channel and you haven't seen my metal detector videos, this is my super small metal detector. It's waterproof up to 100 feet. When I locate a piece of metal, it's going to sound like this. <laughs> and then I'll go in and I'll dig for whatever's underneath the surface and then hopefully I'll find something crazy today. Well, hey, drop a thumbs up if you guys want to see another metal detecting video here in Florida. I've been having so much fun looking for stuff here with this metal detector. It's just a blast. And my goal is to find a gold or diamond ring one day. And I think today might be that chance where I could actually find something really good. So after I explore the area a little bit and kind of see where, like, where I want to kind of narrow my search, I'm going to grab my metal detector and we'll go back out there and see if we can find some cool stuff. So I just got done exploring with my big fins and it definitely helped me out by narrowing down the area that I should start searching with my metal detector. Now I'm super excited to get out there with my metal detector to hunt down my very first diamond ring. But before I do this, I want to give a big thank you to today's sponsor, War Robots. Without their help, this adventure would not have taken place. So if you've never heard of War Robots before, it is a 6v6 multiplayer game. Over 70 million people have already installed this game and I was actually blown away how nice the 3D graphics looked on this game. So with constant updates, with new robots, maps, game modes to play, this game is definitely going to want to keep you guys playing. I to play video games all the time. It was a ton of fun, but I've been traveling a whole bunch lately and I haven't had time to sit down and play video games like I used to. But to be able to install a game like War Robots on my phone and play as I travel is a ton of fun and I definitely suggest you guys to check it out. I'm going to have a link in the description below. It's going to be at the very top. If you guys want to play a game or two with me, I'm going to have my username in the description below. If you guys want to download a game, you might have a chance to be able to play a game with me. Just join my session. But if you really want to challenge, play against me and we'll see who wins. Install War Robots now and get a huge starter pack of GI patent robot and unique skin for it four Punisher machine guns, 100 gold, and 400,000 silver. Thanks again, War Robots, for fueling today's adventure. I'm ready to get back out there with my metal detector and see if we can find some cool stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Every time we enter one of these springs, like my mind is blown, man. Like right when I go underneath the water, I can see seriously like across the entire area. And this spot wasn't that big, but it was just super beautiful. I had this really unique cave going straight down. Using these fins definitely helped me out a little bit today. With these bigger fins, it allowed me to get to the bottom a lot quicker. I could hold my breath for a little bit longer without using uh, like a lot of energy. And I was able to find some cool stuff. So let's go ahead and check out some of the things I found. When I looked at this spot on Google, it looked like this would be a gold mine for stuff to find. But when I got there, I was discouraged for a little bit because I was finding nothing but nails. Look at this. It was just nail after nail. And I was like, man, this place does not have anything good. Like, this is disappointing. But I kept at it and I actually found some pretty cool stuff. My favorite item of the day definitely has to be this diamond earring right here. So I don't think this is real. But to find jewelry with diamonds in it, that's awesome. You know, that's just really cool to find something like that. And it's just really rare. But yeah, I found a diamond earring. There's a spot where you could actually jump into the water. And it looks like a lot of girls lost their hair ties. Kendall's actually probably going to love these. I'm going to wash them up and then I'll tell her uh, I got her some new hair ties. <laughs> That's so gross. I don't know how I found this, to be honest with you guys. But it didn't go off with my metal detector. But I found a marble. To find a blue marble down there by the cave was really cool. Who's carrying around marbles in their pocket? This is most definitely one of the nastiest finds that uh, we have found lately. I look at it further and then I realize it's a girl's fingernail. That's so gross, man. So what I'm gonna do is just, uh, I'll clean this up a little bit, and then if Kendall needs a new fingernail, I'm sure she can put it right back on her fingernail with some super glue. I'm just hooking her up today, man. I got new hair ties, I got fingernails. What else we got? I even got a diamond earring for her. Like I said, this is a very popular hangout spot, and I found some glass down there, so I thought I'd just put this in my jar so I could throw it away. I don't want anyone in the future to ever step on this. Along with the hair ties, I found a bunch of Barbie pins as well. And, you know, just like all the other stuff, I'm sure Kendall's gonna love all this too. This is pretty cool. Find a little button to a shirt, or maybe some pants. I'm not too sure what this is, but we may have found another earring down there. It's just a piece of silver here, but, uh, maybe another earring? I'm not too sure. This is actually a really cool find too. It's a dog tag, but it looks like, uh, this is for spice rum. So, someone was maybe drinking rum, and they dropped their bottle overboard or something. I thought I was gonna find my very first phone with my metal detector, you guys. I was so excited for a second, but it's just a big piece of hunk of metal. Man, so disappointing. Just like all the other springs, I've been finding so much coins, man. I found a whole bunch of pennies, nickels, and quarters. I've been finding so much coins, and I've been thinking about it lately. Like, you know, who's carrying all this change in their pockets? After further thinking about this, I think these are people's wishes. They, like, throw the coins, you know, to make a wish to the water. So basically, I'm still in everyone's wishes. <laughs> so my goal is always to find a crazy ring, like maybe a gold ring or a diamond ring. Like, that's my ultimate goal. And that's what I'm like really striving to get here in Florida and I'm just having so much fun seeing if I can actually like accomplish this goal one day. But every time I find these bottle caps, my heart just sinks because I think I find a ring because it sits like this in the sand. I'm like, oh my gosh, I think I did it. It's just a big letdown every single time and I find these all the time. I'm going to save the best for last, but I have one more thing I want to show you guys real quick. Every time we went to a spring, we found bullet casings and today I found three of them. Check that out. I don't know what these go to. But we found three. You know, it's pretty crazy because people are shooting guns out here at these springs at these popular locations. You know, maybe they come out in the middle of the night, but it's always pretty intriguing to find some shells to like some gun bullets. All right, you guys ready? This is my favorite item of the entire day. Check it out. I found a ton of bullets. Check that out. I didn't think I was going to come across all these bullets. And I found like this one spot and I kind of waved all the sand away and I found three bullets. And I waved the sand away from another spot and I found like four bullets. And I was collecting these everywhere, man. Like I don't know what all these bullets are from. There's some bigger ones. There's some smaller ones. 
and I think there's some actually pellets in here too. If you guys have an idea what these bullets go to, let me know in the comment section below. But there's some big ones, medium size, and small bullets here. I'm just really curious to see like what these uh, go to, man. So let me know in the comment section below if you have an idea. We found a lot of bullets, but we didn't find that gold or diamond ring yet. But I have high hopes, man. We're gonna go to another spring tomorrow here in Florida, and hopefully we can find something good. Found a fingernail. That's gross, dude. <laughs>